Welcome back to Midday, everybody. Glad you're watching on this Tuesday. Joined now by Dr. David Schmidt. He's a gastroenterologist at Granite Peaks Gastroenterology locations in Sandy and Lehigh. And with everything else going on, we do need to remind all of you that it is colorectal cancer awareness month. And this is something that is so preventable. That's why we're talking about it today. How big of an issue is colon cancer in our country and our state? Thank you for having me. Um, Colorectal cancer, if you combine both men and women, is uh, the second leading cause of cancer-related death in the United States. Um, uh, to break that down to Utah, uh, that means that this year uh, about 850 people will be diagnosed with colorectal cancer this year in Utah, and about a third of those people will actually die from the disease. Doctor, who's more at risk? Well, um, uh, people who have a family history of colon cancer are at risk. People who have chronic inflammatory bowel disease are also at risk. Um, but uh, that being said, most people who are diagnosed with colon cancer have no extra risk factors. So what age, I know there are new guidelines out there that came out in 2018, what age should you start being tested? That's a good question, and there's some debate about this. Uh, in 2018, the American Cancer Society uh, released updated guidelines uh, with a qualified recommendation to begin screening average risk people at age 45. Uh, this is for average risk without a family history or a personal history that would put them at increased risk. Uh, most gastrointestinal societies still follow uh, age 50 screening, uh, but there again is some debate about that. All right, so let's talk about the screening. <laughs> this is, I don't know why this is so hard for people or scary for them to try or talk about. What are you hearing from patients? Well, I think the most challenging thing is the the day before, you know, the preparation. Uh, people are nervous about what that's going to be, and the, the the laxative that we uh, give people tastes bad, and obviously it has a result that nobody likes. Uh, but the procedure itself is actually very easy. Um, uh, we maintain dignity for each person coming in, uh, and it's uh, actually quite quick and hopefully uh, relatively uh, painless, and, uh, and and we keep people modest. And so um, the the preparation, without a doubt is the worst part. Dr. Schmidt, can I tell you, because I had this done at the age of 39, I had a colonoscopy, the prep has changed. It is getting better every single year, and the procedure itself is no thing. Yes, right. I would agree with you. The, the, the preps that we focus on now are called low-volume preps, and so this is not the uh, old days where you're drinking a gallon of seawater. You know, this is something easier to tolerate. But this cancer is preventable Correct. if you get this procedure. It can be. That's right. And so not all cancers are preventable. And we have an opportunity here to uh, prevent somebody from getting this devastating disease. Uh, the ways of preventing are with uh, a yearly fecal uh, uh, blood test or stool test uh, and a colonoscopy uh, every 10 years if you're average risk. Dr. David Schmidt is a gastroenterologist, everybody, at Granite Peaks Gastroenterology. If you need more information, again, they have locations in Sandy and Lehigh, uh, or you can also go to cancer.org for more info. Go to abc4.com slash midday, and we will link you. Thank you so much. Thank you.